Hi, I'm Mike Jacobson, the general manager here at Shelter Restaurant. Um, we use rainwater catchment, just, uh, I guess one, it's a, it's a great cost savings and we live in one of the wettest places in Canada, so um, it makes sense to use rainwater and um, any way we can kind of lessen our footprint, I guess is, is a good thing, so. Basically how it works is uh, it rains, water comes in to the gutter system, um, you can kind of pretty much see how it works into the tank. Um, tank fills up. This time of year it's nice and full all the time. If it does overfill, this is just a drain on the side of it here. Water goes into um, this piping at the bottom. Um, just a simple valve system there. There is a hose connection if you wanted to then uh, hook a hose up and, and run it to the garden. Um, and then from there, this pump fires the water back up that red pipe there and then uh, back into our system, which uh, then flushes our toes. Pretty basic, pretty pretty simple. Our catchment system is really good because it's super simple. Um, there isn't a lot of maintenance, there isn't really any maintenance in, involved with it, um, which is great because we're busy and I don't wanna have to think about it, so um, it, it always just works. The only time of year it doesn't work is this time of year when it gets really cold um, because everything sort of is exposed to the elements out here. Um, the only time we have issues is if it drops below freezing. So the lines that pump the water back to our toilets um, can freeze over and then we have to switch back to municipal water. So. That's the only downside. Had it been a system that was built inside the walls or um, could be kept warm, I'm sure it wouldn't be an issue so at yeah. all. So we can fill our tank up and still use have water here in case uh, we do run this thing dry. If we are on municipal water, it should fill up for the most part. Um, it's, you don't have to think about it. So basic one-on-one, if we didn't have any of that electric other than this pump here, the whole system would work the same way and water would come in, go to the toilets, and then if it did freeze over or it ran dry, we could just hook up the toilets right at the, the toilets themselves. So yeah, this is uh, just a simple troubleshoot how to uh, if I'm not here or just so anybody can use it. Um, fairly straightforward, talks about the toilets, the tank, and how to make sure everything's full and sort of the, the parts that make it all work. Um, and then on this side, it's a bit of a schematic that's uh, in my chicken scratch, but I, again, it's so simple that there's only a few um, things. We never have professionals come in and look at it. It hasn't caused us any issues, which is great, but it's it's huge. Like it's, you think about how many people come through here, we see, summertime thousands of guests a week and every toilet's getting flushed I don't know how many times a day it's it's got to be a huge cost savings